Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Nahid Akhtar and in this video, I'm going to discuss about the IFNA function. The IFNA function is one of Google Sheets error handling functions. Its main task is to handle NA errors. Now we know that Google Sheets has certain fixed strings to represent different types of errors. For example, it uses the NA error to report that a particular search key we are looking for has not been found. Then it uses the div by zero error to tell that you're trying to divide a value by zero. There are many other error strings like this, but let's just focus on the NA error in this video because the IFNA function specifically handles NA errors only. This is the syntax for the IFNA function. It takes two parameters a value and a value if any. Value can be a formula, a cell reference, or a direct value. Whereas value if any can be either a text or a particular action to be performed when the first parameter returns an NA error. So if your first parameter is an NA error, then whatever is in the second parameter is executed. If it's not an NA error, then the second parameter is not executed. The NA error is typically returned by functions like VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, IF, SUMIF, and SUMIFs. These functions return an NA error when the search key they are looking for has not been found. There are two use cases in which the IF NA function comes in handy. One is when you want to look up a particular search key, and if it is not found, then you want to display a particular text. Second use case is when you want to perform a particular action in case of an NA error. So we're going to take a look at both these use cases one by one. Let's go to Google Sheets. We're going to look at the first use case where you want to look up these values here from this table and you want to display the corresponding names in this column. So we can use the VLOOKUP function like this, VLOOKUP. And in brackets, we're going to first write the search key, which is this ID here in E2, and then the range where we want to, where we want to search. And then, and this is going to be locked because we don't want it to change when we, um, when we uh, copy this formula down. And then write the index of the column where you want, that you want to retrieve. So we want to retrieve the name, right? We want to retrieve the name corresponding to this ID. All right, and then is sorted, false. Okay, so now press the return key and yes, we want to uh, autofill. And now you can see the name corresponding to the ID 8263 is Sierra. So we get this name over here. The name corresponding to the ID 9273 is Ted. So we get it here. But what about 1345? 1345 does not exist in this table, right? And that's why it's not been found and that's why we got the NA error over here. Did not find this value in VLOOKUP evaluation. So now it doesn't really look very aesthetic when we look at it, when we look at the table, a table with a lot of error strings like this. Plus a newbie who's looking at your, at your worksheet might not be able to understand what this means. So we want to give it a more meaningful value over here, right? Because we want to say something like value has not been found or a value does not exist or something like that, right? So that a person who's looking at it understands uh, what this means. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this VLOOKUP function inside the if NA function. All right. And this VLOOKUP function is going to be the first parameter. Okay, so we have a formula as the first parameter. And as the second parameter, now we're going to write the text that we want to display if the NA error is returned by this formula here, by the first parameter, okay? So we want to just say not found. So if the corresponding ID is not found in this table, we want to display the string not found. Okay, now press enter. And now you can see over here, it says not found instead of the hash NA error. Uh, try looking for some other IDs as well. Let's see. Okay, so as you can see, it says not found because this cannot be found here either. All right, so this is one way of using the if any function. Now let's look at the second case. 
Suppose you have certain IDs and names in one table and you have another lookup table in another sheet. Let's say in sheet two, you have another lookup table with some more uh, IDs and names. So you want to make sure that, okay, if a particular ID is not found in this table, then it should look in another uh, sheet, in sheet two, let's say, okay? So in that case, instead of having a string as a second parameter, we can have a formula as a second parameter. We can tell what to do if the NA error is encountered. So we can say if this string has not been found here, then it should look in sheet two. So let's do this now. So we're gonna say if the first parameter returns NA error, then try looking up in sheet one sorry sheet 2 exclamation because we want to search in this sheet here okay sheet 2 a2 to b3 okay and the same thing press the return key and let's copy it down and now you see even though this 1345 was not found in this table what did the if na function do since this first parameter returned the na error it performed the action which is in the second parameter which is to search in sheet 2. So it goes to sheet 2 and it sees 1345 exists here and the name corresponding to it is Tammy. So it returns the name Tammy here. So these are two ways in which you can use the if na function. So I hope you liked the video and if you did then please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this press the subscribe button. Thank you and have a nice day.